Hey, it's your Boomer Consumer, and today's video is all about, ta-da, the iFi Audio's Uno DAC headphone amplifier. We're going to talk about it in this video, but as a disclaimer, this was sent to me for review at no cost. However, all opinions are my own, and no one has reviewed this video prior to posting. Now, if you're interested in more information, I have the iFi link down below, as well as how to purchase this little headphone DAC and amp. And it's only $79. It's just an amazing value. And we're going to talk about that in this video. Now, iFi Audio designed the Uno for people that are basically new to DAC. So if you're a hardcore audiophile, this video is probably not for you, unless you're looking for something that's so portable, you can easily stick it in your pocket and take it with you. If you're looking for something a little bit better, maybe one of those little USB stick DACs, then yeah, <laughs> you probably want to pay attention to this video just as well. I have been using this for several weeks with a variety of different sources. And again, um, this really has held up well. You see, when you have a PC, a Mac, a tablet, a phone, they all pretty much have a DAC in them. The thing is, those are designed to be just good enough. They really don't produce the best sound. You see, the inside of your computer is electrically very noisy. Your phone is very noisy. Your tablet is very noisy. All right. But a good DAC eliminates that DAC and all the audio is then bypassed and sent to an external DAC. Many external DACs can be quite large, quite expensive, quite bulky, and not exactly portable. Now, yes, there are some of these stick type DACs, but they lack certain features that if you want to use it for other applications than just your phone or your tablet, well, there's something missing on those that you're going to see on the Uno. Now, currently it does not support gaming consoles. However, there is a firmware update that will support the PS4 coming. I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen. So this is a very useful little device that's handy with, again, your PC, your Mac, your tablets, your phones, for gaming, for watching movies, or listening to music. I, for one, have used it mostly for listening to music. Let's talk about the features of the iFi Uno. First, to get ultra high res capability, up to 32-bit, 384 kilohertz PCM. That may not mean anything to you if you're new to DAX, but the higher the bit rate and the higher the, the frequency, gives you more dynamics, it gives you better sound, better stereo separation, it just vastly improves. It's kind of like moving from standard television to high def television, okay? You get full native DSD-256 support, and that's up to 11.2 megahertz. And DSD is like, it is the top of the line digital audio file. Uh, but not everybody, not every DAC can do that. This can, 79 bucks, full MQA for those title masters, etc. So you have that. You have a semi-balanced 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone out. That means that it helps eliminate things like crosstalk and a little bit of the distortion because of the, sh the way the circuit is designed. You get the power match, which increases the output of the volume by 6 dB, by the way. I've been using the Hi-Fi Edition XS planar headphones. This thing drives them brilliantly. Now, they're big cans, and I wouldn't necessarily take them traveling with me. Not a big fan of taking planar type headphones on the road, but you certainly have that capability. You get the, oh, the DAC chip. I had to write this down. It is the ESS 9219MQ. There you go. Uh, runs off of 5 volt power. Again, I can plug it right into your phone. It should power it just fine or your tablet, etc. And it provides 211 milliwatts of uh, into 32 ohms, which is pretty standard. And then I don't know why they put it this way, but 3.5 volts into 600 ohms. Bottom line is this should be able to drive all but the utmost demanding headphones to a really, really loud level. Watch your hearing, folks. You don't get but one chance to keep it going well. Okay, so on the front is a 3.5 millimeter output for your headphones, and that is a semi-balanced connection. So you can use it with your in-ear monitors or your whatever normal headphones, it works just fine. 
Let me make sure I can get this. Come on, focus. Then you get the volume knob, and this also functions as off and on. And there's a light around there. Different colors indicate what kind of bit rate and uh, what you're getting, whether it's MQA or PCM, and the different uh, uh, bit rates on there. So it changes color. And then you have your power match button on here. And what that does is it adds, let me get this back into focus. Come on, stay in focus. Let me just bring it a little bit closer. And then that adds about 6 dB of gain to your output. So if you have a harder to drive headphone or monitors, then you would use that. And then you have your EQ setting. And basically that EQ setting, if I click it, there it's off, click it on once, you get, uh, that's the game mode. Then you have the TV mode, music mode, back and forth. You couldn't ask for a simpler device how to use this thing with different uh, sources on here, which is really nice. Some of these DACs, especially the more high-end ones, wow, <laughs> those, those can be very convoluted. This keeps everything to a bare minimum. Now, apparently, if I read this correctly, uh, you will be able to download through firmware uh, additional filters. And that's what they refer to these things as, as filters. It changes the sound a little bit. I found that the TV or the movie mode kind of made things sound just a tad bit echoey on here. Uh, so I just prefer the music mode on here. Now let's take a look at the back. Unlike some of these stick DACs that you get, these little pen, you know, little USB stick type DACs, well, <laughs> this also has analog outputs and that adds to the functionality of this little DAC. Let me see if we can get this in better focus for you. We can get that into focus a little bit. You get uh, on the back, basically you get your power. And speaking of power, I had this run off of an Android uh, tablet, my iPad, my uh, Windows PC. So you don't really need an external power brick with you. All right, so you have that. It's very simple, but these outputs here, these analog, allows you to connect this to say an amplifier and speakers powered speakers, for example. This is a function that allows you to use the Uno in a more sophisticated way. It can grow with you. I'm probably going to use this with the, uh, with the streaming, uh, with the streamer that outputs in USB at some point. But I'm just thrilled with the absolute sizes. On the bottom, get these nice little rubber feet things going on here so it doesn't slip slide around. But it's very, very lightweight, just a couple ounces, really. And it works quite well with Windows as well as Mac. Let's talk about the build quality. Uh, the faceplate is uh, aluminum, plastic knob on here, what they call a mineral polymer case on here. But very nice textured feel to it. It is very light. And then they do provide these little rubber strips on the bottom to keep it from sliding around on you. As far as the size goes, again, I'm going to refer to my notes. <clears throat> It is nine centimeters by 2.6 centimeters by eight centimeters. That works out to approximately three and a half inches in width by about one inch in height and just slightly over three inches in depth. So again, <laughs> just about like having a deck of playing cards in your hand, put it in your pocket, put it in your backpack, whatever. And this little sucker will go with you wherever you want, providing high, high quality sound. Okay, to wrap up this video, I use this with several different sources. One of the things I did is I plugged this into my Windows PC, and then I took the analog outs and plugged that into a Fosse Audio, the BT20A, I believe, the Bluetooth Class D amplifier. And to that, I connected a pair of Klipsch R41M uh, passive speakers. And this small office room, it filled it with sound. Glorious, glorious sound, high-res music. For source, uh, I str use streaming from uh, Amazon, and that worked out very, very well. Uh, the only thing I wish it might have, though, they would include, maybe in the next generation, is an optical in, and that way you could easily connect, say, a Wim, uh, Wim Mini streamer to it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but other than that, um, I've tried it with different headphones, my favorite being the Hi-Fi Edition XS. Works brilliantly. I used it with an Android phone, a Samsung Galaxy. I used it with my um, an Amazon Fire tablet. I used it with my 
again, my Windows 10 PC, and also on a Mac Studio. And it has performed brilliantly. And it's so lightweight and so easy, dead simple to use, and produces great sound. And that's the bottom line. How well does it sound? And I think for $79, it's absolutely a brilliant piece of kit and one you should consider. And uh, that's pretty much my review of the iFi Uno. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.